Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. If you follow me on social media, you've probably seen this picture. This is Helen. Helen is very annoyed with me right now because I kept sending her text messages every one minute whenever temperature would drop below 20 degrees. And why? Uh, because I'm sitting underneath the air conditioner unit and it's quite cold in there when the air conditioning is blasting down uh, the cold air. And I was doing this thanks to this baby. This is ESP32 connected to DHT11 temperature sensor. And I was sending information uh, via Node-RED where to my mobile running Tasker. So I was able to communicate back and forward from these two devices. And this video is gonna be all about how to establish that communication. Now, Node-RED is Great, I like it actually. I wasn't expecting much from it, but ever since I've started using it, it's kind of uh, started to be um, my basic system for automation using MQTT as well. So um, this is not going to be a tutorial about Node-RED. Uh, just play about a little bit and you know how it works. It's very simple, but I'm just going to show you how to connect two systems to Tasker and uh, uh, Node-RED. So, Ready? Let's get started because I'm ready. I'm going to start with an input node. Input node is a node that allows you to input a payload, uh, in this case a string saying this is awesome when the button is pressed. So that payload is being passed to the next node and that's what it is. And I'm going to connect this into a debug node which basically just uh, displays this in a debug menu on the right hand side. So just to test it, I'm pressing it, and yeah, you've got the message as a payload. Payload. So let's connect this to the HTTP request, which I called to remote. As you can see, uh, this is uh, set to post, and I'm using uh, the node from the uh, from the function, which is HTTP request, and I'm posting an URL, and that URL is our auto remote. Uh, device URL with a message at the end. The message is the payload and the payload is in a triple curly brackets. So this is where you enter uh, your message, well basically your payload. If you're not sure where to get that uh, URL for auto remote, just open the auto remote URL and it will get you that uh, um, uh, information, that entire URL with the message at the end that then uh, entering it in the message field. So that's the URL. Just don't forget to change the message into a payload in a triple brackets. So let's deploy the changes and now let's uh, send it. So when I click on uh, inject, it'll send out a remote to my mobile phone. And as you can see, this is amazing. It works, it's great. Excellent, so how about the other way around? What you see here, it's a task uh, action HTTP post and I've used my local server with the port 1880. This is when the node read is. Uh, also specify the path, and the path for this one is just a forward slash test, treat that as a part of a URL, and then the data, it's a key and the value. The key is node read and the value is great, then the value is placed after the equal sign. So that's set up. Let's uh, create a node, and this is a input node and in this case it's HTTP input and we have to modify it slightly. So uh, it's going to be a post because we are receiving HTTP post and then the path has to be exactly the same as in the um, action in the tasker. So I've attached the debug node so you could see the messages being uh, received as well. So everything is ready. One more thing you have to add the response otherwise you'll get the timeout messages in the tasker so uh, HTTP post will send the post and then we'll wait for the response and the response is automatically generated so i've sent it and you can see this payload is delivered and it looks like a json file when you can see a, a key and the value the key being node red and the value being great so yeah everything's working delivering messages to tasker and sending the tasker messages back Excellent. As you can see, that wasn't that hard. I hope I convinced you to at least start playing with Node-RED Node a little bit and uh, you'll know how to connect Tasker and how to send the messages back and forward between Tasker and Node-RED. So, as usual, 
thanks for watching guys i hope you're gonna subscribe uh, to my channel uh, i post more videos and more articles on my blog as well so do follow me on social media as uh, not all of the articles i post come with the video as usual i'm gonna see you in the next video so take care until then bye